The mystery man who wooed three different Real Housewives of New York is revealing his identity. On the reality show's most recent episode, Luanne de la Sepp showed off a picture of a new guy in her life, but he wasn't totally unfamiliar to her co-stars. He won American Idol. He's so cute. Show promoted this one. No, but show the other one on the stage. That's where he's from. Like it turns out Ramona had a history with the unnamed singer, and she wasn't the only one. Oh, well, we, we share a lot of people, don't we? we uh, oh, did you have a story with him too? Of course, I went out with him. So did Tinsley. Did? So did Tinsley. So who romanced Luann, Ramona, and Tinsley? It turns out to be none other than Broadway star Constantine Maroulis. The American Idol alum, who came in sixth place on season four, admitted that he was the man in question on an episode of the podcast Behind the Velvet Rope with David Yontev and said that lots of people, including the ladies, reached out to him as soon as the episode aired. I guess I got a million calls about it. A couple people sent me the video and I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, they're definitely talking about me. Constantine got candid about his history with each of the women, starting with Tinsley, who he's known for a long time. They met more than a decade ago when he was in Rock of Ages and she was filming her short-lived CW reality show, High Society. Despite rumors at the time that their romance was all a facade, Constantine said they had something real. I know a lot of people think it was like bull for her TV show, but we genuinely really cared for each other, liked each other. Constantine said their romance didn't last because he was resistant about putting a label on it, but they kept in touch through the years. Things with Luann developed more recently. The performer has taken part in some of her cabaret shows and admitted they had, quote, a lot of chemistry. While he insisted that they were platonic, he admitted that things did get a little physical. We were just friends, you know, we enjoyed each other's company, you know. Um, we would, you know, if we were lucky to hang out, you know, here and there, we, we, would, uh, we would we would always have a good time together. <laughs> that, that is such a vague statement. You, you never kissed Luann. Well, it's not like we went out, like, officially for an extended period of time or something like that. But like a kiss yeah. or so. Yeah, maybe a kiss. Yeah, maybe. As for his time with Ramona, Constantine had nothing but good things to say about her. You know, we've had some drinks together and uh, um, she's got a great body and she's got a great personality. He continued, she's got a great apartment, even though I think she's got her new place now. She's, I think, awesome. She's really a New York soul, and she's very youthful too, you know? She's a lot of fun. While Constantine wasn't shy about spilling details about his past connections to Tinsley, Luann, and Ramona, there was one thing he wasn't going to kiss and tell on. Well, who's the best kisser out of those three? <laughs> oh God, I don't know, I don't know. All three ladies have since moved on from their time with Constantine. Tinsley is engaged to Scott Kluth and left The Real Housewives of New York to live with him in Chicago. And Luann has had a romance of her own throughout season 12, when she talked to Access Hollywood about ahead of the premiere back in April. What's the love life been like for you? Are there updates, Luann? Will we see any of that journey? What's your status right now? Well, you know, uh, I uh, started off the season um, and, you know, I've been seeing my agent. And uh, so, you know, that's been part of the storyline for me this season is is that relationship. And, um, and so, you know, he lives in L.A. I live in New York. So we live, you know, on different coasts. So we see each other when we see each other. He's very near and dear to me. Um, and, you know, I just I keep it, you know, I keep it casual and uh, and I can't wait to get out of quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the fans will love Lou this year because I, I, yeah. for, I, for one, related to her in a totally different way. And I think the fans will enjoy it because I think Lou really did a lot of work on herself and mm -hmm. she's become just a more open person and just kind of a little more approachable with me. And I mm -hmm. think she's more fun loving and just down to earth without that, you know, oh darling, don't be so uncool. She's like, okay, let's do this. I want another drink, another drink. I'm responsible. And girls, come on, let's do this. Come on, come on. Yeah. And 